the water hub is a research site where we're learning how to work with nature rather than against it. This is a research site situated about 80 kilometers east of Cape Town and lies in the beautiful valley of Franschhoek. The site is actually an abandoned wastewater treatment works. Now it's very seldom that you find wastewater treatment plants ever been abandoned in this way anywhere in the world. They're usually fixed up or expanded in some way. So here's the opportunity. What if we could turn the site into a recovery center? The site is surrounded by vineyards, beautiful, idyllic, but actually not all is well. Further up the hill is an informal settlement where more than 5,000 people struggle to live with limited municipal resources and services and share communal toilets and taps with limited options for dealing with waste and getting rid of unwanted water. As a result, water coming from the settlement is a darker shade of grey polluted by high levels of bacteria, nutrients, and some things that we can't see or even measure. We started this work with the river that runs through the site. It's literally high on nutrients, and that got us thinking. What if we could use that water as a valuable resource to grow food? What if we could reduce the concentrations and then safely use it to irrigate vegetables? It would be far better to use that water in this way rather than having it pollute further downstream. About three years ago, a group of researchers from the Future Water Institute at the University of Cape Town got involved with other partners to fix the broken drying beds on the site and to turn these into large biofiltration cells. Well, that's just a fancy word that means that we turn these large pits into waterproof containers and filled them with natural material such as large and small stones, peach pips and then started to grow plants on top of some of these cells to see if they could make any difference in cleaning the water. And then we took the water from the polluted river and diverted a small amount through each cell. We improved the water quality by managing the amount of time that the water stays in each cell and also controlled the speed of flow. We also built a similar cell in our laboratory so that we could control the system better and find out more about what happens in different parts of the cell. Two years later, and we now have some exciting results. For example, ammonia is reduced in concentration by between 70 and 90 percent. It's removed by the bacteria that lies deep inside these cells. That's good news. And we can now take this water and use it to safely irrigate plants without damaging the soil or harming the plants. Microbes, which are really, really small organisms, are our friends because they are the real cleaning factory in this process. Students are having lots of fun with this project and learning new skills in managing these nature-based systems. It's making sense to them. They're thinking differently about how we deal with polluted runoff from informal settlements in South Africa and how it might be extended to other parts of the African continent. About 50,000 to 100,000 litres of water are treated each week. It's not that much, but the cool thing is that we are able to use this water to irrigate food gardens. Water is fed to a holding tank and then it passes through a series of tanks. This tank looks like green slime, but it's actually useful duckweed that's growing on the surface. Duckweed is super helpful in further reducing the nutrient concentrations in the water. We now have the water, but we also want to do things differently in the food gardens. These are permaculture gardens. In the center is a compost machine that releases nutrients into the soil. We put organic waste into this composting machine, add some duckweed, and give the earthworms a good home to live in. The machine literally feeds the soil naturally. We plant the vegetables so that different plants become companions to each other. Lettuce and carrots grow well alongside each other. Well, that's the theory anyway. It's not perfect. But we found the vegetables are growing a lot faster than we thought. Lettuce is ready to be picked within 10 weeks. And we've been stunned by the results. And really, we are not farmers. This is all an experiment. Each time we grow vegetables, a small sample is tested in the laboratory. We want to know that we are meeting the irrigation standards and food and safety standards. So far, the results have been great. So what are we learning? 
Well, first, we've underestimated nature and how natural processes can clean water. We know that we need to do more research like this, applying science to the real-world problems around us. And finally, this experiment has the potential to benefit people who want to form businesses from the sale of food and other products. It's like a circular economy. We're growing food from wastewater. For more information on this project, visit the website, thewaterhub.org.za.